ada tadi And how we doing? It is Wednesday night. It seems like later that there's my this space error message <laughs> that I've got to fix. Um, yeah, it seems like later in the week, just been very busy for me today. Uh, it was supposed to be just kind of a class day. It ended up being more than that. Uh, in class, I mean uh, a an Azure product that I've been learning about, taking a workshop on. Um, but yeah, th today is day four, two for of the CCI Routing and Switching Pursuit journey. And uh, today we're gonna to talk about a lab that I'm kind of going off script here, uh, but I, I want to lab a concept that I read about today in Community Forum. I don't know if this is possible, but I want to see if there's a way to filter BGP prefixes by origin code. Um, I have heard, and, I, and I'll get into that in a minute, but that's what we're going to try to lab up tonight. I have a re I don't have a reason that I need to be able to do this. I thought about it. To, there was a scenario today where I wanted to use it. It has to do with Azure and the fact that every route you get from Azure, whether internal or external, is the same AS number, uh, 12076. So that created a scenario where I needed to distinguish... Uh, between redistribution points. I found another way around it, but... Uh, uh oh Force code applications. Uh, one moment, folks. Yeah, I have got to get that working. Um, this weekend. I'd hope to wait until the weekend. Hopefully that's still the case, but uh, yeah, it's uh, JavaScript error. That's okay. All right, got to close down some stuff. This PC is uh, it's uh, struggling. You have run out of system, out of application memory. What would quit any applications you are using? I I've tried. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Sorry about that, folks. Uh, let's see here. I think it's stabilized now. Yeah, seems to have stabilized, hopefully. Anyway, we are uh, we, we finished up a workshop today, which had to do with Azure Site Recovery, ASR. Uh, seems to be a great product. And, of course, it was very easy to use. Um, we, we did some work today on, like, failing over Azure to Azure. Ah, and then we're, of course, talking about IaaS, right? Uh, infrastructure as a service, virtual machines. And uh, it is very simple to do when you are doing um, Azure to Azure stuff versus on-premise to Azure. A little more complicated that way. Um, and I'm just kind of looking at the screen, hoping right now that this is actually encoding. Okay, it appears to be. All right, yeah, so stream uh, quality is excellent, so uh, we'll go we'll go off of that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> there we go again. Sorry, folks. All right, I guess I could quit. Why is this? This is bad. Yeah, we'll close that and that.
Okay, we just have the essentials right now, so hopefully that is good to go. Um, no, okay. All right, carry right along. So that went well, and then uh, it came up with this use case for the BGP origin code. So here's here's essentially what I need to do. Um, we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and build a lab here. I'm going to use the Azure Lab. And, uh, of course, with BGP, there's always different ways to do this, right? Um, uh, Crisco762, love that uh, name, Crisco. Are you doing Express Route and hit the SR Storage account blob from on-prem? So, today we were doing a uh, kind of a workshop. Uh, we're actually using, like... Uh, in our in our in our company we're actually using some other products right now but uh, we want to learn about Cisco ASR to kind of see what its potential was we are doing offsite replication uh, to Azure but we're using some other products currently so and those do work over Express route um, yeah we, we use Azure storage blobs for a, a number of different purposes and uh, we can send that traffic over Express Route, even though it's it's uh, Azure public IP space. Express Route allows you to do that. They'll send you prefixes for you know different regions depending on what region you're using. But uh, yeah, that works really well. All right, this is running slow, and Chrome is slow to respond. I'm going to shut that window down. Yeah, it's this weird thing. Sorry, uh, I know this is kind of weird the way the stream is going today, but I've I've had this issue ongoing where um, the Mac has a Fusion drive, so it has a hard drive that is uh, solid state drive, and then it has another drive that is a regular drive with a spindle. And what has happened is the volumes. I think it has, it, it's supposed to decide what goes on which volume. It's supposed to be smart enough to do that and not um, have your system run out of disk space. I have plenty of disk space available on my non-SSD drive, but the SSD drive I think has run out of memory. So that's why I'm kind of struggling with this little window here. It's wanting me to force quit. We can force quit code. I don't think that's gonna make it happy. All right, so anyway, let me open up. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna move that over here and let it just do its thing. And we'll go ahead and launch our virtual machine, which is even G. And this should be running, yeah, it is running now. Cool, so we'll go even G, oh, that's local. Yeah, I need to actually browse to the PIP, public IP. And as I build this lab, I will kind of, let's see, this, this we're gonna put under testing. And we're gonna call it BGP filter origin code. And it should be really simple. Um, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a we're gonna put a router. Let's see how many routers do we need for this? So one, two, we'll go four just in case. And let's see, so we'll pretend this is um, Azure. We'll 
we'll pretend this is an Azure Express route right here. And that is a private peering. So let's call this, uh, let's see, Express Route Private. Uh, we'll just pick a region, right? Uh, let's say West US. Uh, we have to give this some space, right? So let's say 192.168.0.0 slash 16. This is our space over here. And then we will create, let's say this site is our um, on-prem LA. And we'll give him 10. Dot um, 10.0.0 and this will be our East Coast so we'll say this is New York I could have got a lot more creative on the locations you know but it's all right uh, this is going to be our, so the, we're going to do express route like private peering here, right? Uh, private, this would be East US, would be appropriate, right, for the region. And let's say this is uh, This is the space over here. And what we'll do is we'll use uh, 10 for our point to point links. We'll create some point to point links here, right? So we'll do, actually, let's, let's uh, tag it on the link here. Uh, let's see, GI00, yeah, that will be our link there. This is also going to be BGP. Uh, let's go GI01, GI01. GI00, GI00. Okay, I'm going to see if I can duplicate this scenario here. Or essentially what I want to see happen is I want routes inbound here um, coming from into R4 and well, let me put the AS numbers here let's do a circle uh, this will be 12076 what do we say West US Oh, name doesn't matter there, does it? Yeah. Uh, so let's do... Yeah. Azure AS12076 West US region. Now, as you may or may not know with Azure, I don't know how Google does this or other cloud providers. Uh, I want to learn. I want to play with them as well. But uh, all the regions are going to have the same AS number. So this is going to be East US. And this will also be AS12076. Uh, and a little trivia question. What is the range for private AS numbers? It is 1,024 of them. And a little clue is that they um, end with 65535.
Wait a second. Make sure I'm telling you right. I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, that's okay. But it is six four five one two to six five five three six. That's right. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just referring to two byte ASNs. Crisco, good, good call. I need to make a flashcard for that. Yes, I do. This is one of flashcards that comes up for me a good bit because the first few times I got it, I did not get it right. So it's now asking me repeatedly. All right, so let's assume that this is um, six four five one two. Is this AS? And this one is six five five three six. Could be wrong about that. We'll find out. It might be six five five three five. Oh, we'll try it. We'll see. All right, so we're going to create some point to point links here. And we will just do like uh, 10 254.1.0. Nothing crazy. And 10.254.2.0. All right, let's start our routers up. Yeah, I may need to do so. Hmm. Oh, this one didn't start. Start him up. So if we if we redistribute the route if you use a redistribution statement that should be incomplete uh, if we use the network statement um, it should be we'll create loopbacks here so we'll do some loopbacks like uh, we'll do two loopbacks L0 uh, one two one six eight one L. We'll do L one ten dot one and L two will be one nine two we'll say twenty dot one thirty two. Uh, we'll do. We'll also do a L zero. That'll be our router ID. And over here, we will do uh, once to do sixteen, uh, one out one, okay. And what we'll do is, I think we'll do L1 as a network statement, L2 redist redistribute. Okay. Because I want different origin codes. So I want uh, origin codes, some of them to be I, and some of them to be question mark, right? Okay, 10. Okay, so let's set up our links here. I guess the stream is surviving somehow. By the way, SpaceX. Falcon Heavy. Oh man, yes, I know. I know. I know. 
Uh, the last Falcon Heavy Arab Sat, awesome launch, courtesy of flickr.spacex.com. Flickr.com hyphen or slash SpaceX. Uh, no. All right, so that is at least my. That is how I believe this is supposed to work. And so what I want to happen is I want some routes coming in to router BGP routes. Um, outbound from router 3 to router 4. Originating from 12076. And I want to filter routes that show an origin of incomplete. I do not want to advertise origin incomplete. Only origin... I. So I read a post today. I just did a quick search. I have not had a lot of time to research this, to be honest. Um, I did look in the INE workbook. Did not see a lab for that in, in a quick search. Um, but supposedly you can manipulate the AS path. And do a regex on a question mark. Um, I have my doubts that that is going to work, but we're going to try it and see. Okay, so let's pull this down so we can kind of see what our topology is and do the configuration. Hopefully you can still see that okay. All right, so we're going to do um, yeah, zero, zero. IP address uh, 10241.1. No shut. Um, interface L0, IP address. Interface L1. Interface L2. Okay, and let's set up um, router two links. Base Jazzer one. Oh, I guess I need to do uh, this. Will be twenty three. Uh, interface has zero one IP address ten ten to a four three dot two and we will put a loop back on here um ten dot ten dot zero dot one L zero Okay, uh, make sure we can ping. Ping 10 to a 411. We can. Proceeding on to router 3. Interface GI01, no shut. 10 to a 4.3.3. Interface GI00. IP adder 10 to a 4.2.3. And interface L0, IP address. Ten dot twenty dot zero dot one. Okay, make sure we can ping uh ten two four twenty three dot two. And we can now to router four. 
GS00, the 4, 2.4. So shut, interface L0, which to 16.1.1. Interface L1. Interface L2. Ah, uh, you know what? I should do slash 24s here. So these aren't post routes. Yes, indeed. Uh, interface L1, IP address 1216.10.1. Interface L2. Go back over to router 1. Okay, um, so first we'll do our peering here um, between router two and router three, router BGP 64512, uh, BGP router ID 10.10.0.1. .10 um, let's see, neighbor, Uh, 10.254.23.3, remote AS6536, and neighbor, yeah. And we will do here, redistribute, oh, I need to go under address family, don't I? No, that's fine, we should be connected. Um, and now router 3. Uh, Router BGP 6536, neighbor 10 to a 423.2, remote AS uh, 64512, redistribute connected. Um, ping. Did I verify 10 to a 4 to the 4? Did. Okay. Show. I don't. Oh, BGP router identifier to put over here. It's got the router BGP six five three six. BGP router ID at zero dot uh, one. Okay, I never got the uh, router up message. Show BGP idle. Uh, show run. Oh, 100. No wonder. Router BGP 64512. No neighbor. Neighbor 10 at 244.23.3. I wonder. Okay, we got a neighbor up. Uh, prefix receipt show BGP IP for uni. Okay. So let's see if we can ping the loop back. 10, ping 10.20.0.1. Okay. All right, so now let's do our router one. And we're going to say router BGP 1076. Um, by the way, the, the whole reason this 
comes up is because, and I, and I should caveat this, as I have in another video, there's another video I made about this, but in Azure, basically, um, local ASN is enabled by default. So if I send a route, no matter how long the path, the AS path, if 12076 is in the AS path, by default, even over an eBGP connection, this router will accept it in. That's why this whole thing comes about. I don't even know, I don't think there's a way to, I've asked Microsoft support about this. I've not yet heard. I need to tweet it out because they seem to be, Azure is very responsive on Twitter. Have y'all noticed that? Like, well, I follow them on Twitter and even the most random sort of thing is someone tags Azure support or Azure and mentions a problem. Azure support is all over it, <laughs> which is almost better than, you know, like sending a ticket through the portal. So I, I may do that. But yeah, so allow ASN is enabled by default. So any routes you get here, so let's say you have uh, routes on the Azure backbone, like Microsoft peering. And you, you say, okay, I want to peer Microsoft peering and I want to get EU uh, West US uh, region PaaS service routes inbound here, advertise them to me. Well, it will go over here and let's say that I have a PaaS service over here. I don't want it to try to get to West US to transit these ASs to get there. But it'll do that because there's no, that loop to, uh, prevention mechanism is ignored, which is a standard BGP RFC. They don't practice it that way. Um, so you better darn sure make sure, you, you know, you're filtering uh, where you need to. Uh, so we're gonna say router one, router BGP 12076. And again, I think the network statement is going to be, um, well, let, let's just see. So we're gonna do here, um, neighbor, uh, 10.254.1.2, remote AS, 64512. We're gonna say network, um, one nine two one six eight ten dot zero mask five, 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 zero. Okay, so let me just check on that and see. Did I configure that over here? I did not. Router BGP six four five one two neighbor um ten two four dot one dot one. Remote AS one zero seven six. Neighbors up. Show BGP IP for Unicast. Um. Yeah. Okay, so this says I right here. Internal. So this is basically uh, originates, we know definitively this originated through BGP, right? These could have been redistributed into BGP or most likely were distributed into BGP, anything with a question mark. So this is what we want. So I want the question mark to appear on something else from 12076. And let's say, for example, um, and again, the case here is not so much like a connected route through private peering, but let's say this router is connected, is doing both private and public peering. Um, or that you had like different... Let's say this router over private peering was peered with two different um, virtual network gateways, which essentially routers in uh, inside of Azure. 
and you wanted to, you want to filter out, let's say one of those like a test network, you want to filter those out from router four. You don't want this other test network over here. You want to isolate it from another test network over here behind another, uh, you know, virtual network gateway. So this would be another sort of use case for this, right? Let's, let's suppose that that is it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a IP prefix list. Um, and we'll call it testnet sequence five permit. When I do, we'll say 20.0 slash 24. Then we do route map uh, redistribute permit 10. A router map. No, I want route map. So we're going to do, use a redistribution statement where we're going to limit what we redistribute. Route map redistribute. Permit 10. Match. I can't type today. I address prefix list. That's my computer. That's got to be my computer. Blame it on the computer, right? <laughs> it's computer's fault. A test net. And then we'll go to our router BGP 1076, a redistribute connected uh, route map, what do I call it? Uh, <laughs> all caps, redistribute. Okay, so net effect router two, we should have now. Um, Hmm. Uh, show run section BGP, but did I do that right? Redistribute connected route map redistribute. Show route map. Testnet show IP prefix list. One nine two wants to say twenty dot. Zero slash twenty four. So that should match. Make sure this is a real thing. Ping one and two wants to say twenty dot one. Show run interface L two. Yeah. Um Oh, well, this loop back. So I've got loop back um, 20.0. Yeah, it should be redistributing it, I would think. So we got network, redistribute, connected, route map, redistribute. Um, show, run, yeah, there it is. 2.5.2.5.2.5.0. Show route map redistribute. That is spelling, isn't it? I'm going so fast here. I'm just redistribute. <laughs> okay, we'll fix that. Router BGP 1076. Redistribute connected route map redistribute. <laughs> show run section bgp redistribute uh tegamino that that typo is the type of thing you see in the ts section yeah right <laughs> oh man I've got to think, so I still have this thing popping up on my computer. I'm blaming this. This weekend, we're doing a rebuild, unfortunately, I think. I believe that may be what we're, we'll be doing uh, this weekend. It won't take that long, but... 
but it is laggy, like the, the input on the keyboard is laggy. Plus, I make a lot of typos anyway. <laughs> so I'm practicing for the troubleshoot session. That's what it is. Yeah, that's the ticket. Um, all right, so now let's check router two. And we're gonna say show BGP IP for uni. Uh, let's do regex. Okay, there we go. So we have our two routes here. I and question mark. And now let's hook up. Did we ever do routing over router three, router four? I don't think we did. Okay, we have not. So let's do that real quick. Router BGP 6536. I hate to show BGP commands. Uh, yeah, I do too. Um, especially start dealing with uh, MPLS and um, multi-protocol BGP. Show IP BGP. <laughs> I know. I. Someone told me that on Router Gods a while back. They're like, you know what? Just bite the bullet and start doing show BGP. Even though you get a show BGP IP before uni, you know, uh, IPV uni, um, it's worth it over the long run. You start doing multicast and IPv6. It's just structured. That shortcut is uh, not such a shortcut in the long run, right? <laughs> it's like... <sighs> okay, so we're going to do here 6536. And uh, BGP router ID, I think I already did that. I did uh, neighbor 10 to a 42.4. I don't need that. 1.076. And uh, we'll redistribute connected here. Oh, uh, yes. Multi-protocol BGP show commands. They do, man. I, I made two flashcards this week, or was it last week? Because I kept doing a couple of things. I, I kept doing ping address VRF. Then I would do a ping VRF. So that one gets me sometimes, the VRF commands. And then the show BGP VPN V4 uni and then you can do all or you can do vrf uh that those get me too so i did some flashcards and i think i've after they pop up enough times you get tired of them you learn them um so let's see uh all right did we ever get a connection i don't think we did show bgp oh we don't have it configured over here that's why uh, so router BGP 10076, BGP router ID uh, 1216.0.1, uh, neighbor 10 to a 4, 2.3, mode AS 65536. Um, and I want to do the allow ASN, and I've only done this in a lab like a long time ago. I think it's, it's, is it global or is it by neighbor? I don't remember. Um, let's see, BGP. I think it's on the neighbor statement, right? Neighbor 10 to a four dot, I, because I need to emulate this behavior that is in Azure. Yeah, allow ASN. That is the way I don't know a way to like turn that off. I would love to turn that off, but um, so what's going to happen now? We should see these routes, right? Including the ones that came from router one. Um, so let's see, show BGP. We do, we have them so. Otherwise, without that, the command, right, these would say, oh, that's a loop. That's my own AS. Filter those out. Azure doesn't do that. 
the one use case to think of for Azure Enable uh, is that you can enable connectivity from West USB Net to East Unit through Express Route and on prem backbone. Yes, you, so that is true. Um, you do need it for um, VNet to VNet traffic where you need it to reverse um, your backbone, your internal. Uh, so that is, that is true, Crisco. Um, the thing is, though, is I would like to turn that on myself. Like the default, the RC published standard behavior is that that capability is disabled by default. So by default, you prevent the loop, right? Um, but you can't just use VNet peering normally. Just try to think why they do that. Yeah, I know. I, I'm trying to think of it too, Chris. I don't know why they would do that by default. Well, I will say most people probably use, and we started this way too, most people start out with Express Route for VNet traffic, I would assume. Maybe not. Like when you're first... Uh, doing proof of concept with Azure or whatever cloud, right? You're, you're probably just going to set up some sandboxes and just do some test networks. Um, uh, when you start to use PaaS services and you want to connect those, then that get, that's usually, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's why they do that. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, a lot of people start with VPNs, to be honest. Like... Um, Usually people do VPN tunnels first because it takes longer to get the express route going, right? To get everything provisioned. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I don't, and I don't see how you can even change it. Um, so the allow ASN, um, you can't enable or to disable it on this side. So let's say router four is the express route peering configuration. And there are a number of like BGP things sort of that you can do here, but it's very limited. Yeah, most customers I see have policy-based VPN. Yeah. Good point, uh, Chris Co. So, all right. So here's why I started this whole thing, right? Is I want to be able to say on this router, you know what? I want... I want to know about all these routes. No matter what, like, uh, virtual network gateway, they're coming off of how I'm peered here, my private VNets. I want all those to come this way. But when I peer back with Azure in a, in a different region or private peering, I want to, I want to filter out anything that is... Um, has a question mark, right? Unknown or incomplete. Incomplete origin. Yeah, because there's IGP, EGP, and incomplete are the origin codes. Um, so I saw an article on, and I don't even know if I can search right now, to be honest, folks, because of my memory lag here. We'll, we'll try it. Maybe we can. Uh, EGP filter origin code. And I saw something on, I read that, uh, I did not read that. Well, I think I did. I did read that. Uh, and it was something in the community. It may have been this article. It's basically saying that Yeah, this wasn't it. Yeah, anyway, basically it was saying that you could use the, essentially that this could be filtered using the AS path command or the you know, AS path access list with a regular expression and that you would just do like an escape code 
question mark. Both of that. I have my doubts about this. Let me see if this article is on my desktop here. Okay, here it is. I hope it lets me open this right now. Yep. PC struggling. Um, all right, let me see here. Uh, we'll be able to get a good, we did get a Google one though. Let me just try to go back to it. BGP filter origin code. Aha. Uh -huh. I think that's one I just looked at. Yeah, that's just someone asking why. Lesser known, no, BGP attributes. I mean, they're probably, uh, okay, here we go. I saw Cisco Learning Network. Is that it? Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, that link, I'm going to add you as VIP. Chris Coast, you can post links. Yes, uh, I think this was the link. This is what I copied and pasted in that text file I was trying to open. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, let me add you, by the way. I have to do that under uh, Nightbot. That Gambino is already in there. We're going to add you, Chris. Go, oh, 762. Awesome. Yeah, don't worry about you can post links. Ignore Nightbot. Okay, so yeah, let's try. This is this is what I found, and I was like, is that really in the AS Path attribute? Um, something that you can filter, but I was like, well, we'll try it. So we'll go to Router Three, actually, and we'll say. See, the, the issue here is, so let's look at these, right? This is why I can't, there's a couple ways to handle this, and I found another way to handle this for now. Um, it's not like as clean as I want, but um, yeah, see, these are all going to have the same AS path. Now, there's a way, you know, there's probably five ways to do this, right? I could put a... Um, a community here. I can use communities. Send them out with a particular community and then filter communities going this way. Um, I thought there would be a match origin route, but it sounds like that doesn't exist. You know what? Let's try it. I, I want to see if it does. That was my first thought. Like match origin code. Um, but this is the first. I think I did a match I logged on a router, it didn't match, it didn't have that. Let's do it, let's see, uh, route map, um, filter incomplete, well, we'll just do filter permit 10 match. Yeah, so we can do a community list, AS path list, extended community list. 
uh, local pref, route type, tags, add paths, yeah. So let's do this. Uh, we're going to do IP AS path access list uh, 10. And we're going to say deny. Actually, we're going to permit. We're going to permit and we're going to de deny on the route map. A regular expression to match BGP uh, use the control V question to enter. Oh, what is this? Use control V question to enter question. What does that even mean? Oh, that's how you add your escape code, maybe? Hmm. Oh, okay. So if I want to put a question mark here, normally at the CLI, question mark means look it up, right? But it's saying control V question mark to actually add a question mark. So it looks like it's going to accept a question mark because that's a part of a regular expression. Uh, regular expressions are powerful. Um, so we want to do question mark at the end of the AS path. Let's see. So this is, I guess, like escape code. Then control V question mark. Um, and then dollar. It accepted it. Of course, it'll probably accept just about anything. Uh, now let's do show route map. Route map filter incomplete. Deny five. Match as path. Uh, what did I say? Ten. So now we'll do router BGP six five five through six. And then what was it? Um, neighbor ten to a four dot two dot four route map filter and complete out. Okay, just for grins, clear BGP or uni neighbor or 10 to a 4 to a 4 soft out. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Because when you think about it, like, I appreciate that someone proposed that as a possible way to do it. But um, when you think about the BGP messages themselves, the AS path is a particular attribute, right? Um, let's, in case I did, let me make sure I did this right. Um, show BGP for uni neighbor 10 to a 4, 2.4. Advertised. Show run section BGP. What we're going to do is we're going to um, we'll do a, a packet capture. This is why packet capture is important because you see what's going on inside the packet, right? Um, Jazz zero zero, and then I'm going to clear BGP altogether. Oh man, I wonder if this is is going to work. Yeah, it's not going to let me launch right now. We're just going to clear BGP.
and see what we get. Yeah, I mean, that, let me see if I follow these recommendations. Uh, define an AS path list that matches. See, the question mark is really a different attribute. Um, as far as I know. Uh, let me see what, uh, I have some BGP cat. I won't be able to open them though. Match it, match IP address, route map stop, we'll click for 20. Yeah, so it does a deny and then a permit. Did I do a permit on here? Well, I, would, I had to because otherwise we'd have no routes. Yeah. Okay, apply the route map inbound. I don't think so, but we'll try it. Um, Uh, let's see, IP AS path access list 10, uh, permit, and what if we did just dollar? Maybe it doesn't know how to interpret the... What if we did that? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's nothing. Did I do that right? That is the, yeah, that's the. It does let me do that, though, which is interesting. But you can do that with any regex. Uh, route map. Allow in. Deny 10. Match AS path X S AS path 10. And route map allow in permit 20. And router BGP 1076. Um, neighbor 10, 2.4, Route map allow and in. Possibly could work inbound, maybe, maybe not. Clear BGP F4 uni. I sometimes forget when to use neighbor and when not to use neighbor. 10, 2, 4, 2.3. Uh, yeah, that didn't do it. Well, shoot. Um, I knew it would be a stretch. So what I'm going to have to do, I mean, I have another, I have something more in place. It's a little more static, but um, I'm going to have to use communities maybe. Maybe that's what I'll have to do. Uh, by default, Azure does uh, use communities and, and uh, allow communities. Express route, that is. Um, filter BGP origin code. Yeah, I just don't know of a way to. Uh, filter. Wait, BGP, yeah, that's not it. Well, I, I'm going to ask out there some of the communities. Um, if anyone else knows. Yeah, it allows you. Well, it, it does allow you to use a question mark. 
it, you're basically using three symbols in your regular expression here, right? And those are legal symbols to use. You know, with regular expression, you could you can do any kind of nonsense regex, and it's going to allow you to put it in there. Uh, doesn't mean it's going to work. Uh, yeah, this is probably better suited for community configuration. But you have to assume, which is fine in this case, because we own all of the um, transit ASs. So we can, uh, we can ensure that communities are observed, passed on. Um, and that is fine. But uh, I was just curious to see if origin... In the route map itself, you can set origin. Yeah. Interestingly enough, okay. So show route map. Yeah, I do remember uh, doing this. In fact, I think there was a lab that had you set the origin code to eBGP or eGP. Yeah, there was a lab for that somewhere. I forget why. It was kind of a, tr a workaround. And I think it was to allow filtering, but it was not BGP to BGP. It was BGP to something else. You're triggering something in my memory, though, Crisco. Let me see if that was in the INE workbook. Yeah, because, you know, no one uses um, EGP anymore. But there was a way to sort of use it as I'm going to set the origin code to E and then I'm going to use that as sort of a uh, tag. And it seems like in the back of my head I remember something about that. Uh, let me see, redistribution. I don't think it was one of these redistribution cases. Those were fun. Those weren't BGP. Those were like RIP and yeah, your and OSPF. Yeah, huh? I, I'll throw it out there and just see. Um, I'm gonna have to wrap it up for tonight, though. And it's getting to be close to my Betty by time and uh, <sighs> tough workout today, so I need some rest. But uh, man, this is great. Thanks, uh, Chris Co and others for hanging out here in the chat. Enjoyed it. It was fun. We tried. We failed. We'll keep trying again or move on to the next strategy. So uh, at least I could say with conviction that I did not find a way to filter BGP to BGP on the origin code attribute. Um, I want to save this lab, though, because we may come back to it and find some sort of use uh, for it. The TIL All right, thank you, man. Thanks very much. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate the support and uh, part uh, the uh, interaction. And uh, yeah, we got to get this PC fixed. <laughs> I've been doing a lot on this uh, computer, though. Um, but maybe I'll come back at some point when I've got this worked out and how I want to do the community. Because there's other things I want to do with communities, too, um, since Azure Devs observe those. And they do support extended communities also, natively. So yeah, we'll just save this lab. Export all done, stop all nodes. Close the lab and we will shut down our VM to the through the portal today because I can't launch a terminal right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, I 
I don't know how I'm even able to stream if I'm running low on, on uh, memory. I'm glad it worked. All right, VM is shut down. Thanks for so much for hanging out today, folks. We shall see you soon. If all goes well, we'll be back here tomorrow, same time, same place, 7 p.m. Eastern. And we'll continue with QoS, which I am just loving uh, studying about uh, Red. And I may do a lab, like a, another sort of play lab with QoS tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, thanks so much for stopping in, though. We, uh, you can follow me here on, or, uh, here on Twitch, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. And we'll be in touch. And, of course, on Discord. We'll see you all back here tomorrow. Sending good bits to everybody. Have a great night. And uh, see you soon.